Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, we're going to be taking a look at the guild system. The, the first uh, first ever look at how to do guild wars. I have no idea what, what's going on. I did ask a few people that already had access to guild wars uh, how to actually do it. But we're... I don't know. I, I think our guild's a little bit unorganized. I don't really know how to how to contest territories and stuff. Let's actually take a look at whatever... Wait. Uh, right, these are mine, right? We have to fight this guy for, for his territory. These guys are rank 1. Okay, I have no idea how the guild system works. Let's, let's actually take a look at... It. Let's take a step back and look at the guild system. Um, to win a guild war, increase your guild's ranking, take over another guild area, neutral area. Colors, allies, areas marked as blue. You need to set an attack party, and then you need to set a defense party, and then you need to keep a keep up an area by keeping up defense or something like that. So basically, you want to have as many territories as possible and try to try to defend them. All right, I don't know which kills stronger. Which one I should start fighting against? These are our territories. So he has this he has put up these monsters to defend the, this territory. We do we have a castle? All right, let me just click enter battle and see what happens. What's going on. No fortress battle going on. So I think you might need to do this within certain, uh, within a certain time, time period or something like that. This is gonna definitely need a little bit of coordination because I, I think I probably want to try to get everyone on my, on my guild to come on Discord as well so we can have some, uh, have some coordination when we're, when we're fighting. All right, let's just do an attack. Let's try to, let's try to wreck someone. Let me uh let me let me attack him. Set up an attack party. Alright, so I need ten units. Not not you. You. I'll use my Olga for now because I don't think my RN's that strong yet. But you can have five more, right? Put in him, 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 tank. Then uh, I'll put in the armor breaker. Do I need two tanks? All right, this might still be my strongest team. Okay, let's let's try attacking him. Let's try attacking this guy. Defense party must be set. So I can use the same party for defense. don't know if this is the right plan right course of action okay, I might use this guy actually no use use him all right let's uh let's just do a guild battle because I have no idea I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna I'm gonna hit someone I think my, I think my music stopped as well okay it seems like Seems like they didn't set any defenses. But we took it down. Oh, I can take over 10 areas a day. Wait, is there any way to zoom out? Wait, let me, uh, let me set a key. But you guys can't see this. Is it is it dragging? Is it working? Oh shit, that didn't work. God damn it. Pinch to zoom in and out. 
God damn it, I can't pinch on Nox. I mean, not not Nox. I can't pinch on a uh, on a uh, KO player. I can't zoom out. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Alright, I give up. Fuck it. Let's not. Let's just not zoom out. I'll just look at it like this. Um. Should I weed out these guys, or should I start hitting this this big guild? Looks pretty strong, actually. They don't have a lot of spaces. So basically I want everybody, I think well, what we want is for everybody to put up, um, to at least hold one spot with their main team. And then we'll have the strong players like defend, I don't know, actually I, I have no idea how, to, how this works. Let's, uh, should we weed this guy, these guys out of our area? Yeah, let's, let's get them out of our area. Level 39 as well. Oh wait, no, this, that's my team. So if I defend it, I need to set up a defense party. Alright, this is the best I got, alright? This is the best I got. I ain't got nothing better. So I think most of them are setting up random units to defend. Yeah, these guys are mostly just setting up random units to defend. Alright, I, I probably need to read up a little bit about how the how the, the, the strategy actually works. But I think you just you just hit people and then you um you take over an area and then you set up monsters to defend and then they can hit it hit you at any time and you get 10 attacks a day basically to to conquer as many areas as possible let me let me re-enter the stage maybe if I re-enter the stage it won't be so zoomed in alright so basically there's only a few boxes, and ba and this this portion right here is my guild. This red portion is that big guild over here. Um, I think I just want to defend near this area. You know what? What would be really nice if is if we have like our best players, like our strongest players, put like a a circle or some shit around around our shit, and then put up their best defense team, so they can't break through. I don't know what I should do. Should I be hitting this big guild? But I feel like they'll, they'll hit me back if I hit them. But I'm super close to them. Holy shit. Or should I try to weed out all the all the all the um the weak guilds here? Yeah, I think there's some strategy. There's there's some like geographical strategy to do with this because if you if you hit the the guys over here. They have to get through these guys before they can hit your th those guys over here. So if you might want to put up like a weak defense party on this side, and they can only come in from this side. Should I weed them out? I feel like it feels like I'm bullying the weak. Yeah, we're literally putting like one guy as defense. Wait, the resource is none. All right, let's let's try hitting this guy. Let's try hitting the the, the top guilds. Oh, they have resources, so you want to hit the ones that have resources. 
I should try to break in and, and start taking their shit. Crafting materials. I have 403. 402. But that actually reminds me, I forgot to set up crafting. Or not, not crafting. I, I forgot to set up exploration. I'll do, I'll do like a few attacks and then I'll, I'll figure out how everything works. And then we can do some more um, battles later. There, there's a lot of crafting resources that you can only get from the, from doing the Guild Wars. But at the same time, there's also um, a lot of destinies that I can unlock for a lot of my units for winning the, the battles. Alright, if you, you guys don't know how to set up exploration, um, the capes... The capes don't actually do anything. They're just there to troll. Just use them to troll people. They, they make they make it seem like you only have three monsters when you when you actually have five. I think that's the main purpose of those capes. If you have a strong team, there's no no point in using the capes. It doesn't actually help you in any way. You could like put up a strong team and then like put up like two weak monsters and then use the cape to hide them and then so they don't know what they're up against. They'll be like, oh shit, but not mess with that guy, but in, in reality, you don't have a lot of strong monsters. Alright, let's, uh, wait, can we, can we do some of the other maps? There's no way for us to get in. Can I just hit some random guy? Hey, I can actually just hit some random guy on another map. But maybe I want to focus on one map for now. Let's uh, let's just focus on this map for for today. Okay, I'm gonna go steal his shit, cause he actually has some resources. Although they're pretty shitty resources, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this the thing has some. This guy has some epic shit. Maybe I'll wait. Can I can I straight out attack him from here? Is it possible? Yo, I want I want your breath of wind. Yeah, but then I have no defense party. All right, maybe maybe not. That's not a good idea. Um, let's just uh, let's just hit this this uh, this outside thing. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can use for defense party. I guess put one guy. <laughs> this is so dumb. I wonder if you can switch up your defense parties. Oh dude, this guy is really strong, holy shit. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Oh no, I'm not getting wrecked, he's, he's having more units come in. This is interesting. You only have five at a time, and every time someone dies, the next monster comes in. All right, that's that's actually really interesting. I think I can, I can plan around that. I'm definitely gonna put up tanks first, and then damage dealers. Nice. Yeah, I think we're we're expanding our influence a bit. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. That's a that's a pretty good first look. Um, I think when they're when the actual like castle battles start and stuff, definitely gonna definitely gonna show that as well. Because um, I don't think I can take over their castles, right? Only 6 to 8 p.m. Only I can only do a fortress battle 6 to 8 p.m. So that's 
in like three hours or so. Um, I'll, I'll make a video in three hours of me doing a fortress battle. Just another first look, but this is the first look of the the actual guild battle system. I'm probably going to be trying to learn a little bit about this, and um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out. Oh wait, one one more thing. If you're if you're in my guild, if you're in Superbia, like come on my Discord server. There's a link in the description. Um, just click it. It's a chat service where you can where we can talk to each other and coordinate and how to like just you know learn how to actually actually do shit um, like together and plan and strategize and, and all that shit and win and beat the stupid guild and become the new number one of this map. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.